Christian religion does define the role and distinct relationships between men and women in the family, church and society. But the Bible is very clear on sexuality. In our so-called modern society, people are very often swayed by the majority opinion and many are deceived into thinking we can iron out the distinctions between men and women. They think they do God's service by ignoring what the apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ taught concerning men and women in the church. This video draws attention to these things. was a British politician. He became a Conservative MP in 1912, based on his anti-suffrage views. He was elected to Parliament in a by-election on the 26th of November 1912, which caused George Lansbury, the Labour MP, to resign from the House of Commons in order to highlight the issue of women's suffrage. Reginald Blair won the election by 751 votes. It is the contents of Reginald Blair's speech, the issue of which is recited in this play, is of interest, a speech that was against women's suffrage, that is, the right for women to vote. And if he did speak like he is portrayed to have done in this play, against women's suffrage, then today he would be rejected as a sexist, racist, misogynist, bigot, and so on. All the names one can think of. And yet his speech seemed to have reflected the opinions of the majority of men, and maybe women, at that time. Are we then to conclude that the people who elected Reginald Blair as their MP in 1912 were sexist, bigots, racists, and misogynists? When reciting history in the form of films, plays or books, it is very easy to portray alternative facts rather than the whole truth. In other words, a misrepresentation of reality and to ignore other important issues that run concurrent with the events of the times. Secular history often ignores the influence of Christianity on the changing attitudes of people, and it is sometimes the distortion of Christianity that hits the headlines and can be misleading. This recitation of Reginald Blair's speech portrays Blair as someone to be laughed at and to be ridiculed. Christian religion does define the roles and the differences between men and women, which often go contrary to the modern secular reasoning. That is far from what the apostles 
of the Lord Jesus Christ taught on the subject. For those interested, I have treated this subject in depth in my book, Mary, Mary, Quite Contrary, or Does the Lord Jesus Want Women to Rule as Elders in His Church? And I show the Christian teaching on the subject of both men and women and their roles in the Christian family, church and society. The book is available from Amazon.co.uk, Amazon.com and also as an audio book from acx.com or email me for a PDF copy.